First off, I want to thank the uh, brave men and women who work behind the wall. I want to thank them on a national level because their job goes on How recognized. How do they try to turn a guard? Well, President, uh, Correctional Officer, sorry, I apologize, uh, but Correctional Officer. Uh... How you guys doing today? It's Anthony Ganji, host of Tear Talk. Hey, Russ, thank you for doing that video for me about cooperative versus comp competitive working environments. Great video, guys. If you haven't seen it, please check it out because I'm going to also build on this as well. It was an email that came my way that asked me about my thoughts on a cooperative versus a competitive working environment and is an either or or maybe a mixture of both. And I'm going to give my thoughts. Russ did a great job in covering it in general. Basically, how do these environments affect us working in corrections? And I'm going to touch in on that today a little bit. But Russ really hit what I needed to hit. So I'm not going to reiterate what he has to say. He really covered it in a general manner. But I would like to share a personal story that I think kind of hits home with this topic, cooperation versus competitive. Now, guys, if you haven't, the show Tear Talks for you, you brave men and women that work in corrections. So please subscribe, interact, engage, comment, hit that bell, and share the videos, please. Share the video. And guys, going back, if you hit the bell, that's going to notify you every time I post a video. Stand by for our sponsor. When we come back, I'm going to give my take on cooperative versus competitive working environments. I right, stand by. I wanted to attend a university that had an intelligence program. I wanted to look at problems different. I wanted to increase my critical thinking abilities. AMU offered those avenues to expand. Obtaining your degree as an adult, you're actually paying yourself and investing in yourself. You can't put a dollar on it, it's priceless. It's something that can never be taken away from you. American Military University, learn from the leader. Thank you guys for listening to our sponsors. Now guys, if you haven't had the chance, please check out Russ's video. And also I'll post one up from William Young tomorrow. It kind of gives a balance of this cooperative versus competitive working environment. Now, for me, just to kind of get in on this, Corrections, jails, prison, whatever it is, you do need a mixture of both. On the cooperative side, the agency's mission is literally a mission that is not an isolated mission. It's a mission that involves multiple, multiple departments. It's a mission that involves us working together within the department, but also working with other departments. And it's it's done collectively and it's done eclectively. So you have everybody working together to make sure we complete what's needed of the mission. And hopefully we have the same drive, the same reasons why, because that definitely keeps us together. But it's great to see, and again, leadership does make the environment for this to happen, or they should make the environment for this to happen, is when we're motivated as a group. That's great to see. It's great to see that because in the end, we are dependent on the failures or successes of that group. Because again, we have to work together as one. And sometimes it's hard. Leadership can be tough because you have all these individuals who are trained as individuals that you now have to bring together. And each one's bringing their own perspective. But again, if we can just combine ourselves on that one belief, we're able to move forward and be successful. But again, it's working together as one for the benefit of the group. And you truly need that in this profession. I don't think anybody's gonna argue against that. If you guys aren't do, doing that, you have to. That's survival 101 in this profession. Now on the competitive side, competition's great. You need it because you need the best of the best for these positions. And however that's tested, it's tested, but you do need the best of the best for certain positions. But competition can also be unhealthy. So let's talk about the healthy side. If you're competing in a manner that helps us grow, not just you grow, but helps us grow, then it's beneficial. Like if I'm studying for an exam and I'm studying with someone who I partner up with who really have an interest in each other moving forward, that we're not going to be jealous over it, that we're really trying to work together for the betterment of both, then competition's great because that person's strength could be my weaknesses and vice versa and we'll look to build each other up. And again, that helps for just a group growth, a, a really good, powerful, collective movement forward that really pushes forward the group dynamic, what we need to survive in corrections. But sometimes competition can be unhealthy. Competition can be unhealthy if we're only worried about just the one. If we're only worried about ourselves. And that's where it becomes a problem. It becomes a problem because now we're only worried about self-growth and we start internalizing um, information because we're afraid to share it, 
because if we share it, that means that someone else can get that position before me. And it's not something that is healthy for any agency at all. So competition, as long as it's controlled to some level where we're not isolating people and we're not hiding information, then that's great. But if it gets to the point where the competition is so intense that now people are just protecting themselves and they have their own self-interest, then competition is not good. It's not good. The agency is going to take a big hit on that because the agency is not going to be able to grow and we're not going to be able to move forward as a group because that's ultimately what we want to do. We want to move forward as a group. I want to share with you a little story that's personal to me. When I was looking to become a sergeant, I partnered with someone who we were the best of friends. I mean, we hung out every day at work, after work. And when it came to studying, we were trying to make the best for each other. There was information there. We tried to share it. We were really trying to help each other grow. Well, when the results came, I actually scored higher than this individual did. And I was able to get the position and they weren't. And we haven't talked since. Is that crazy? I didn't know it was a competition. Because at the end, I would like to think that if he got the position, because of the hard work that we did together... I'd be like, okay, well, I'll get it next time. Because I think that we worked on each other. So there was success for me in that person achieving that supervisory position. So either way, it, it would be a win-win. You know, sometimes the agency may not realize how competitive they're making the environment, especially if it's like a limited resource, like only one position. Everybody wants it. Because then you're going to have that self-interest. Then you're going to have people that are going to harbor information because they're afraid that well if I give that information out that's going to put someone into a better spot to get whatever position that you guys are jockeying for but a good story here again with me is when I was competing for that next level position I had a good friend and we were studying together and we really did compliment each other we really wanted the best for each other Whatever their weaknesses were, we made strengths and, and vice versa. We did what we could to make sure this person was prepared in the areas they need to be prepared at. And we really complimented each other very well. People knew we were close because when the um, time for the interview came, one of the questions that was asked me was, why should I pick you over this person? And I was quick to respond that it's not going to be a win-loss no matter who you pick. You know, we both are bringing things to the table that complement each other. And I think in the end that either one can do the job. That's on you to decide who you want to pick. But I'm not going to give an answer to that because we studied together. We worked hard together. So if this person gets the position, I'm okay with that because I worked with them to get this position. I worked with them as we studied together. So it's kind of a win-win for me. And I would like to think the person did the same. Now, I did get the position that person did it, and we're still close. But what also helped us out was that he took another path. So he may not have limited himself to that one resource, which was also good. Because even though it looked like we are competing for the one, it wasn't his only one. So he made more resources for himself. So he truly was grateful that I got the position and he truly showed an appreciation and really said, hey, Gange, uh, still to this day, you were really worthy of that position. And I'm honored because, again, we competed. But look at the end. We shook hands. And again, he went his way and I went mine, but we're still close. We still share stories. But again, so competition has to be able to build us up as a team, not separate us. And we have to make sure that we're not doing things that only promote self-growth and self-interest. So when you look at stuff like employee of the month and stuff that like, even when you're in the training academy, that person that's the highest and you give them an award. I mean, do we really want to do that? Does that show cooperation? I don't know. You tell me. I mean, sure, it, it may motivate people to be the best they can be, but are we motivating people to be the best within the group? So the group could be the best that they can be. You know, are we training people to be independent or are we training people to be part of a force? And that's the key. I think part of it is that team building exercise where if one person fails, they all fail. And if one person succeeds, we all succeed. But that's up for leadership to make that environment happen. But again, competition could be healthy as long as it builds us as a group. So that's my, my perspective. 
I'll give Williams tomorrow, but I'd love to get your thoughts on this. As always, guys, the show is Tear Talk. If you haven't, please subscribe, interact, engage, comment, hit that bell. That bell's going to notify you every time I post my video. Stay safe. Whoa.